Um, I wanted to share a few more visions that I had throughout my life. I was probably 15 years old when I got that dream about uh, seeing the New Jerusalem. Around the same time I got those uh, other dreams where I saw that tunnel and Jesus was at the end. But um, later on in my life, I got visions. And, you know, a lot of these things I kept to myself because, you know, even though I told certain people like, you know, pastors at my church and youth leaders and this and that, you know, everyone kind of brushed it off and told me that it's probably my imagination or maybe I read the Bible before I went to sleep and, you know, I was just dreaming it. And so I kind of just kept it to myself. But many years later, um, in 1997, I got this vision where I saw America as being a completely militarized country. And, you know, women would be the head of corporations and men would basically serve in the military or they would serve in the police function. And I saw the like military all over the streets. Along with this vision, I received another vision where I saw a female president and not only was she female, um, she was a lesbian. And there was a crowd celebrating her, her, um, her victory. And she was there with her wife or girlfriend and she was holding up a baby. So I'm not exactly sure what this means, uh, whether this is Hillary Clinton or another candidate, I don't know. But I see things going that way, especially now that the Supreme Court, they passed the, the legalization of marriage in all 50 states. And that in conjunction with, you know, everyone, celebrities, Obama, everyone supporting Hillary Clinton, I kind of see this as the way that it's going. So I, I wanted to share this vision that I had with you. And so, and again, test all things. You know, I know everyone says that they have visions and dreams, but if they come to pass and you know that they're from God, so just, just mark what I said. And if this does come, because this was back in 1997 that I had these dreams of the militarization that America's only purpose would be the military that the corporations and, and large businesses will all be run by, by women. Right. The military would police its own citizens. I saw a, um, a female president. But later on, um, this was probably sometime last year where, you know, I, I got this vision. This was around December or January, December 2014, uh, January of 2015, where I got this dream where I was sleeping and, you know, someone rushed in, you know, into my room and said, you know, hey, everything is sold and you can stay here, but you have to move out by September 7th. And mind you, all of my dreams are very, you know, I could tell they're dreams, but there's certain dreams that I have in my life where they're so vivid and they're so real that I know that it's kind of God waking me up. And so this happened to be one of those dreams. And so like, I know that there's other visions and dreams that I had where they're kind of coming and I'm seeing them happening. And so this is another one of those uh, dreams that I want to share where, you know, I don't know what's going to happen in September, but I know that everyone is warning of September. And so I'm just trying to maybe, maybe this to be a warning or to look out for September 7th something may or to get out of whatever situation or I'm thinking maybe it's a warning to you know to free yourself of sin to let go of those things that are binding you down and to get right with God and so maybe this is a warning of that in any case something else happened that was very interesting um, this happened around the same time uh, like December, January, I'm not exactly sure. I was approached by this, this man on the street. And mind you, I never get approached by people, you know, prophesying or witnessing to me. And so he was like witnessing to me. And then he was, he was asking me if I know Christ, if I'm saved, um, you know, like if I go to church, all of this. And so I, I, I said, yes. And I, I was in a hurry at the time. And so I kind of stopped, but then something just led me to say something. So I pretty much 
I spilled my beans about how I feel this world is coming and that Jesus is coming soon and all of this time I thought my only purpose was I thought there was an importance to you know to let people know of the false doctrines like I thought that all these other translations of the Bible were fake and that we should focus on the King James and his demeanor completely changed and he looks at me and he goes you're wasting time you're wasting time and then he says to me like focus on the Middle East focus on what's going on in Israel everything else is a waste of time and what's funny is that is what I pondered on that for a while because it was so strange and, and this person was so like he was so memorable that I, I you know I questioned who he was maybe he was an angel maybe he was I don't know but in any case I know it was a clear warning and there's so many distractions like this gay marriage like climate change like all these things and it's interesting to me how you know the Pope is getting involved in all this and he's getting involved into things that have nothing to do with the church if you just look back a few years remember that the previous Pope and and all of the priests they were just inundated with all these accusations of child molestation and all of this and the and it seemed like the Catholic Church was about to die and all of a sudden there's this change where this new Pope comes in little by little he's changed the entire perception of the of the Catholic Church to the point now where I think the world is being conditioned that they are the authority to, of all world problems. You know, and I find that very interesting. And that's something that's kind of frightening because not only that, but they're getting involved in the, the Israel-Palestine conflict. And to the point where they're, they're kind of heading, they're spearheading this, this separation of, of Jerusalem. And... And that's very interesting because we see all these things going on in the world, like like I said, with gay marriage and with all these other issues. And I think all of those things are smoke screens. That, in essence, what that man told me to focus on Israel is really what we should be focusing on. Forget those things that's going on in the world. You know, they're all just distractions. Because while these distractions and people are focusing on all these things that are just kind of like that doesn't really matter. What does matter is being slipped under our nose. What does matter is the separation of Jerusalem. And so I know I revealed that, that dream that I had with, with um, the delusion of the new Jerusalem. I think that they're gonna fake this mil mil millennial reign. I think the main player of that deception is gonna be the Pope and the Catholic Church. And so, you know, I say, yeah, focus on Jerusalem. Forget about all these distractions. And remember that this rebuilding of the temple, this time, is going to be done by the Antichrist. It's going to be for the purpose of this Antichrist. You know so, that these are signs that the end is near. So, you know, as Christians, we should be, we should be rejoicing. This is, like, exciting. But at the same time, there's such a short time. So there are these people out there that are lost that we need to find. And that is our purpose, you know, in these last days is to wake up, is to be that light where, you know, for those of us who do have strength, who do have direction, we need to lend a hand. We need to help out those who are fearful, who are weak. And that's what we need to do in these days. So I remind you to focus on that and to know that the end is near. It's, it's very near. But at the same time, let's let's remember what our last commandment was which is to find the lost to spread that light to spread the love you know to heal the sick and and to uh, cast out demons again pray for each other stay in prayer pray ceaselessly and keep reading the bible that's your daily bread and um god bless everybody